Check this out. This tiny wafer floats above these magnets. And what you're witnessing is called diamagnetic levitation. And the wafer, the hoverboard, is made of pyrolytic graphite. The board will float on either side. Being diamagnetic, it is always repelled by a magnet. Now, regular graphite is diamagnetic too. But in the case of pyrolytic graphite, the effect is 25 times stronger. Graphite is carbon in flat crystals, but pyrolytic graphite is when the crystal layers are much larger, being grown very slowly in a vacuum. To be diamagnetic means to be anti-magnetic, or always repelled by a magnet. And many other substances are diamagnetic too, such as sulfur, bismuth, and glass. The effect is very, very weak, and it's only with these very strong magnets that you can see the effect. In conclusion, diamagnetism is an interesting and promising phenomenon in which macroscopic objects can be made to float under their own influence. It reminds us of how much more we can achieve in the future of material science, and that all materials have internal electromagnetism being made of moving charges. To this end, the diamagnetic levitator makes for an inspiring and instructive in-class demonstration.